Hey there, this is Red, and we're back with another episode of Red Plays. So I have Marvel Champions on the board yet again, and what we're looking at right now is we got Dr. Octopus out there, because I'm having a lot of fun with this custom content thing, so we're going to go down that track a little bit, and I've got my She-Hulk deck back out there. Now this is my She-Hulk deck without the uh, double resources in it. I have switched out Justice for Aggression, and we'll see how we do aggression-wise against this. So I'm thinking, like, if it's all action, maybe we should try to go all aggression and see if that works out. So I think we're ready to go here. We're going to do standard Doc Ock to start off and see how that works out. So it's maybe a good idea. Maybe totally not a good idea. So we'll see how it goes. Uh, I've got Lab Raid out there right now. Um, that's going to kick off, and as part of that, we're going to get um, an arm's going to be out there, and we also need an encounter card. So that's part of the setup for when Doc Ock does his thing. So the nice thing is uh, She-Hulk hits for three, and these arms have three health. So a standard attack from She-Hulk is going to take an arm out, which is kind of nice. Um, once he gets tough, though, it's She-Hulk's going to need to like stack the attacks in order to get past the arm. So we will see how that works out. All right, so we're on the Jennifer Walter side. We've got our 15 hit points. Doc Ock, level one starts with 11, so that's going to PUD. We're going to grab some cards. So Jennifer Walters gets six cards. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now what I'm not going to have is I'm not going to have my thwart stuff in here. So I'm not going to be able to keep the, keep the threat down too well. So we'll see what that does to me. All right. Um... What do we got here? We've got, um, we're probably not going to use, we could get the Superhuman Law Division out, but we wouldn't end up using it for a while. The combat training would be nice to have out right at the start of the game. Uh, the Valkyrie enters play, deal two damage to a minion. So I, if I got her out there, we could actually, well... We could take out the arm and then move on to beating up, but she's going to cost a lot in order to get her out there. So maybe I don't want to do that. Hellcat is a powerhouse. She's our, she's our thwarting powerhouse out there and coming back to our hand. But again, I don't know that I want to get her out there right away. What I'm thinking I'm going to do is we're going to do a little bit of build prep and we're going to go like this and get some stuff out there. So, Let's go ahead and do that. I think that's going to be our where we're going to go for this first round here. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to flip over to She-Hulk. Um, and after I change to the form, I deal two damage to an enemy. So it's not an attack. So I believe I can surpass, go past the mechanical arm and hit Doc Ock directly. So we're going to do that. We're going to knock him down to nine. Any little bit helps, especially when you have guard minions out there. So we knock him down to nine. All right. Next thing we're going to do is let's get our combat training out there. It's going to give us plus one on the attack. And we're going to get our enhanced physique out there. Um, and it's going to get three counters. Two, three. And I can use that to get some fists. All right, so I probably could have played that in which I got Enhanced Physique and then maybe used it to put the Superhuman Law Division out there, but I want to keep my counters to do she hokey things at this point. All right, so the other side of this is I could attack the arm and take it out, but that doesn't really get me anything because it's going to come back. So we've got this interrupt over here is when the fill-in phase begins. If there's not a mechanical arm, then it gets a mechanical arm. So I can do it just to do it but we'll just leave it out there because it doesn't really help a whole lot all right so next up we're going to draw she hulk we're going to get our four cards so one two three four and we got to chase him down one two punch in avengers mansion all right that looks pretty good so we're going to go over to the villain side what's going to happen on the villain side first off we're going to put a threat on the lab raid. The second thing that's going to happen is Doc Ock is going to see She-Hulk out there. Doc Ock doesn't attack. He's got a, a thing that the mechanical arm attacks when he would normally attack. All right, so the mechanical arm's got guard, um, which doesn't really matter right now, but just 
for future reference. Mechanical Arms got Guard. It's got an attack value that's equal to the villain's stage number, which is one. So it's attacking me for one. I think She-Hulk's going to take this one, right? So it's going to do one damage, and it gets a boost card. That's another neat thing, or not so neat thing. Two. So I'm going to take two damage from the Mechanical Arm. Not a problem. We take two. All right, so the next thing that's getting it up is we get two encounter cards. So let's see what encounter card number one is. Ooh, an advance. So we're going to treacherize. Uh, he's got a scheme of two, and we're going to get two more. So that's four. So we are already dangerously close to completing the lab raid. All right, next up, we're going to get our second encounter card, and we have a Mectopus. Uh, so the Mectopus is a big bad, and let's see here. We have a after it attacks, discard cards from the encounter deck equal to the damage done by that attack. Oof. Okay. So he's got eight health on him. All right. So with that done, we're back to She-Hulk side of the board. So, um, let's see here. What can we do? So we can do a one-two punch and do it. We can also do our chase them down. So let's, we could hit the mechanical arm and then we could hit the mectopus for four or we could double hit the mectopus for four. I think that's going to be the best idea. I forgot that we've got our combat training out there, which means we attack for four. And then if we one, two punch, we can do extra damage there. We use our chase them down to get a couple of threat off the main scheme. Now we can't get Tigra or Avengers Mansion out there. We could opt to just take out the mechanical arm. And then spend our four to get Avengers Mansion out there. Or we could spend three and get Tigra out there. Or we could just take out the mechanical arm, use the chase them down and get Tigra out there. Maybe that's the... But I'm afraid of that Mectopus hitting... Well, that's going to hit us for three. That's not too bad. I think I want to take the Mectopus out of there. Let's get that out of there. All right. We're going to be decisive at this point. We're going to take out the Mectopus. So... We are going to use our, we're going to attack the Mectopus and hit it for four. Then we're going to use our one, two punch, which allows us to ready. And we will attack again. So we're going to hit him for another four. So we're going to do eight damage to the Mectopus. And we're going to play chase them down, which is after a hero attacks and defeats an enemy, remove two threat from a scheme. So we're going to take that out of there. And chase them down is going to go away and the Mectopus goes away. All right, so um, I don't think I want to go over to, I'm tempted, very tempted, to go over to uh, Jennifer Walters, but I don't want the lab raid to go off, so we're going to try to prevent the lab raid from going off. So we're just going to untap She-Hulk, and we're going to get our three other cards, because we may end up playing Tigra next turn. So two, three. All right, so we've got some Battle Fury action ready to go off there. All right, um, we're going to go over to the villain side. So villain side, we're going to add a threat to the main scheme. So we're up to four. Um, Doc Ox mechanical arm is going to come attack She-Hulk. She's going to take it. So we're going to take one, and then it's going to get a boost of two. So we're going to take three damage. All right, so we've taken five total at this point. We'll just throw a five out there. All right, and then we need an encounter card. So encounter card for Doc Ock is a crumbling building. All right, so this has got three thread on it. And it's got, uh, at the end of the player phase, I'm going to take a damage if I haven't gotten rid of it. Okay. So that puts us back over to the hero side. So what I can do is I can do... Can I get this out and get Tiger out? No, I'm going to have to make a choice. Because I can use three to get Tiger out there. 
And then I can take out the mechanical arm. Now, if Tiger would only attack for one more, so the other option would be to. Uh, I could get a. I should probably hold on to a Battle Fury. I want to get somebody else out there with me because if She-Hulk attacks, then somebody else can hit Dr. Octopus. So let's do that. We're going to spend three. And we will get Tiger out there. All right. Uh, we're going to hold on to this Battle Fury. We will attack or three, take out this mechanical arm, goes here. Tiger is gonna attack for two. On Doc Ox, so he's down to seven. And then we'll be done. All right, so we're gonna untap. I'm going to draw cards. I'm gonna go back up to four, so I need three more. One, two, three. All right. Ooh, Hall of Heroes would be nice. And the Focus Rages would be nice, too. Okay. Um, we're going to go over the villain's turn. So, oh, I take a damage from the crumbling building at the end of my turn. All right. So beginning of the villain's turn, Mechanical Arm comes back out. Annoying. Um, also, we need to put a threat on the main scheme. And then Dr. Octopus is going to attack with the Mechanical Arm. She-Hulk's going to take the attack. Gonna get hit for two. All right, so we're gonna go from six up to eight. So let's add another two onto there. We're up to eight. All right. Uh, next up, we've got an encounter card. So let's see what we have for an encounter card. Encounter card is ooh an advance. All right. So let's see what we get for a bonus for the advance is one. So he's going to scheme for three, which is going to pop the lab raid. All right. So when lab raid pops, we have during escape, which says we're going to search for a crumbling building side scheme and put it into play. So I think the question is going to be, do we have two crumbling buildings? I don't know that we do have two crumbling buildings. But let's see. There might be, and that would be, oh, there is two crumbling buildings. Okay, so that is going to be annoying. There are two crumbling buildings in play now. Oof, okay. Um, wow, that kind of sucks. All right, um, so we put our crumbling building into play because that's what it says when revealed. So then our next thing is going to be, we're going to flip and mechanical arm gets plus one attack. All right. That part isn't too horrible. Oh, this also starts with one threat. Okay. All right. So we're back to our hero side. So that's a lot of threat out there. That's pretty uncool. Okay. So we've got a... Battle Fury that we can get out there. Um, we could also get Hall of Heroes out there. So maybe we should get both of those out there. Focus Rage would be nice to get us more cards, but I think we'll hold off on that. All right, so we're going to put our Battle Fury out. That'll cost one. Um, then we will put our Focus Rage, or our Hall of Heroes out there. All right, um, let's see here. So what we need to do is we're going to attack with She-Hulk. That takes out the mechanical arm because she hits for four. Uh, Hall of Heroes says, or no, sorry, Battle Fury. So I've got max one. After your hero attacks and defeats a minion, deal one damage to your hero, discard Battle Fury, ready my hero. All right, so we're going to take a damage. I'm going to ready my hero. All right, so now we can hit. She-Hulk can hit Dr. Octopus for four. So he's going to be down to three. Well, and then Tiger's going to hit him for two. So he's going to be down to one. 
All right. Um, we did. We should have a glory counter on there. Let's put a glory counter on there. And ooh, the downside to this is. Each player takes one damage. Okay. When the player phase ends, each player takes one damage. So whether I am She-Hulk or I am uh, Jennifer Walters, I'm going to take a damage. Ouch. All right, I think we're going to go back to Jennifer Walters. And we're going to untap. Untap. I'm going to take two damage, so I'm going to be at 11, because I'm at 9, so we'll hop up to 11. And we're going to draw six cards. Get in there. Six cards. Let's see what we get. So, one, two, three, four, five, six. We got a Hulk, a Gamma Slam, a 1 2 punch, and a Helicarrier. All right. Okay, so the question on this is going to be, what's his health on the second one is 14. Okay. All right, so we're going to go over the villain's turn. So villain part one is we need to put a threat on the main scheme. So this is going to go up to two. Oh, also we need a mechanical arm. Um, let's see here. Dr. Octopus is going to scheme. He's going to scheme for two, and he's going to get a bonus of one. We're going to use Jennifer Walters' ability to block. We're going to use our eye object to block, so we're only going to get a scheme of two happening. All right, so at that point, we need an encounter card. An encounter card. Encounter card is going to say an Octobot comes into play. So the Octobot is a cannot be attacked as long as there's other minions, and then when he attacks, he's going to stun me because he is very annoying. All right, so what are we looking at at this point? Is we've got a Gamma Slam. One, two, three, four, and a one-two punch which I think means we can take out Dr. Octopus. So let's, let's run through this and see if this works out the, same, the way that I think it will work out. All right, so the first thing we're going to do, uh, we wouldn't reveal Searching Counter Deck and Admantium Coding into play. Okay. Ooh, is that going to... Foul me up? No, I don't think so. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do, let's see if this works out, we're going to shift over to She-Hulk. She-Hulk comes into play, I'm going to do two damage to Doc Ock. So Doc Ock's going to take two, Doc Ock one is going to go away, and Doc Ock two is going to come into play. So he says, uh, when revealed, search the encounter deck for the Admantium coding attachment and put it into play. So we're going to look for our Admantium coating. That's not there. It's over here. Where's our Admantium coating? Do, 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 do. There it is. All right, so Admantium coating is going to come into play. And that says, when a mechanical arm minion enters play, it becomes tough. That's very good because I'm glad that ones that exist in play don't get tough. All right, so Doc Ock's out there. And we've got this coating on the arms. All right, so the next thing that happens is we're going to take out the mechanical arm. So She-Hulk is going to attack. Oh, so Doc Ock needs 14 hit points. 10. Two, two is 14. All right. Um, She-Hulk is going to attack. And she's going to take out the mechanical arm because she attacks for four right now, right? So mechanical arm goes away. Um, we are going to use our one-two punch in order to ready She-Hulk. 
Our Hall of Heroes gets a token because we defeated a minion. We then will attack Doc Ock for four. So he goes down, he's got 10 life, and then we can end with a big old Gamma Slam. It's the Gamma Slam ending. Kapow! There we go. So the She-Hulk deck did its thing there. Um, I'm feeling like maybe I got a little bit lucky and it worked out, but uh, that's a win against the standard Doc Ock deck. I'm very happy with that. Uh, things that were very scary is the amount of threat that came out and the two crumbling buildings were bad news. So uh, I really have a timer as to how quick I need to take Doc Ock out. So um, that's it for this playthrough. And it's pretty fast. That's the nice thing about doing She-Hulk and Aggression is it's really straightforward and not a lot of build and get her done. And she happened to get it done that time. So uh, let me know if I missed anything. I did 11 damage. He had 10 life. So I think I got him. What rules did I miss? Did I miss anything or not? Um, that's it for now. Thanks for watching. We'll do another one real quick. All right. Thank you.